Hey, good morning. You're Brian Kruger with Call of Banker Premier here in Las Vegas. Hope everyone's having a great start to their day. Wanted to share with you an event that I attended last night. The first of what's called lecture series for Symphony Park. This is the big project being developed downtown by New and Communities, one of our clients. And uh, the highlight of the evening really was surrounding the Lou Rubo Brain Institute and the Cleveland Clinic. Mayor Oscar Goodman was there and a bunch of other dignitaries, the media was there, uh, and really the, the primary focus was talking about the Cleveland Clinic, and Dr. Cosgrove, the president and CEO, uh, was the keynote speaker, and it was really informative to know really why the Cleveland Clinic has received the reputation it has. President Obama recently visited them and basically said, hey, this is what this is the example we need um, in this is the model that we need for our entire country and so I wanted to share with you some of the things that are uh, very uh, interesting about how the Cleveland Clinic operates US News and World Report last week ranked them number one gave them a score of a hundred out of 100 the next closest was the Mayo Clinic at 81 uh, the Cleveland Clinic has 40,000 employees they have 2,000 doctors and the one key aspect is that those doctors are all salaried so regardless of how many surgeries they end up doing in a given week or whatever period of time it is, they make the same. Uh, they have about, I think last year they did about 3.4 million, they had about 3.4 million annual visitors. They have, they do about 8,000 annual hours in reviews for their doctors. So those 2,000 doctors have to go through annual reviews and they basically, to, to keep their jobs, have to pass those reviews every year and they put in over 8,000 hours into though I thought that was interesting uh, they're very key on innovation they look for ideas from inside outside the organization they had over 40,000 last year and they actually implemented about 8,000 of those so I thought that was also very interesting and the key though is that they're very patient centric and they've really done some things to change the whole experience for the patient they actually have chief experience officers and some of the things they've done is they've done away with visiting hours and believe that families should be able to come and visit the patient whenever they have people in red coats greeting patients as they come in they use lots of art they incorporate it into the lobbies into the rooms the rooms look like five-star uh, hotel rooms uh, with flat screen TVs and pull-out sofas and, and just very first class lots of uh, lots of natural light flooding into the rooms and more. They have massage and pet therapy, a prayer room. So just a lot of interesting things that they're doing. So it'll be interesting to see how their model fits into the whole healthcare reform debate. Now, how does this impact housing in Las Vegas? Well, it's going to bring the type of jobs to diversify our local economy. And while hospitality and the services industry is the biggest part of, of our job base, we need to see a more diversification of the jobs. And this is just going to be one part of that, one piece of that puzzle, per se, to do that. So I wanted to share that information with you. If you'd like to discuss Las Vegas real estate, you can always email me at info at cbprds.com. Make it a great day. And remember, always bet on Vegas.